Welcome to Daily Devotions with John Dow. We're doing a series looking at excuses together. Yesterday we started seeing how Moses gave excuses to God after God had spoken to him through the burning bush and told him to go back into Egypt and to rescue the people there to deliver him. Today we're going to look at another excuse which he gives, which is, I don't know enough. Moses didn't want to do what God called him to do. Does that sound familiar to you? Well, listen then to his next excuse. Moses said to God, Suppose I go to the Israelites and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me, and they ask me, What is his name? Then what should I tell them? God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to say to the Israelites. I am has sent me to you. God also said to Moses, Say to the Israelites, The Lord, the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever and the name by which I will be remembered from generation to generation. Exodus chapter 3 verses 13 to 15. Moses concerned that he won't be able to answer the theological questions that they may ask him, that he just doesn't have the right answers for it. Moses' question was not that unusual at all. Have you ever not talked to somebody about Christ because you were afraid they might ask you a question that you didn't quite know the answer to? Have you ever told somebody that you couldn't teach or lead a class because you just simply didn't know enough? If so, then you understand where Moses is coming from. So often we measure ourselves against those around us. We see everybody else's ability greater than our own. But God doesn't need our ability. He is more than able to do everything which he possibly wants to do. The only thing he requires from us, actually the only thing he wants from us, is our availability. He wants to bless us by using us. God tells Moses that he should tell the Israelites God's name is I am who I am. In other words, tell them that God is who he has always been, who he is and will always be. And he has sent him. The problem with the excuse, I don't know enough is that there will always be something that we don't know or quite understand. Moses learned that the best way to grow in the knowledge is to step out in faith. The best way to learn about God is to obey God. Let's pray together. Our Lord, so often like Moses, we find ourselves afraid to take the next step, afraid to um, speak out or get involved in some sort of ministry because we are just fearful that we don't know enough. Lord, we realize again today that we we'll always have more to learn. There will always be more to you than we'll possibly understand, more to your word than we really can grasp here on earth. But Father, help us to be confident in our relationship with you, sure of what we do know, of what you have already revealed to us, and confident that you will reveal all things to us in your perfect timing. Father, we thank you for the gifts you've given us today, for all the way you've spoken to us via your word. And Lord, just help us then today not to use this as an excuse for not serving you, for not obeying you, but help us to be obedient to the calling which you've given us. In Jesus' name, amen.